Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and this video is titled Thinkorswim Charts Tips and Tricks. Um, maybe part of a series. I'm not sure. Uh, and I'm going to show you just a couple of things. Like I think uh, we're looking at three subjects for this. We're going to cover my change that I made to the option guru Matt D. And we're going to look at uh, charts view as a percent. And we're going to look at corporate actions. All right, so first off, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. First off, um, I've been messing around for the last day or so with the MACD because in my videos, you might have noticed on my daily scans that I haven't been paying much attention to them, MACD, and I should be. MACD, of course, is going to give us momentum. Plus, I'm looking at some sort of momentum strategy for weekly options, which um, I'll launch at some future date, but I need to test it out first. So I have a couple other people testing it out with me, and we'll see if it works out for everybody, at least a majority of times. So I made changes down here to MACD because um, I need to pay more attention attention to it and what I was seeing before was just too mottled and too blurred for me. Uh, my eyes aren't that bad. I mean it's in focus but I mean blurred mentally. Of course I'm blurred mentally anyway but that's a whole other subject. So the changes that I made I'll show you here and all you have to do is put your crosshair on uh, the line or the dot or anything else and right click you can go directly to edit the MACD. Okay, so what I did was on this average I made the change. The average is the purple and white dots down here, or magenta and white dots. I made a change to that. That used to be a line that changed colors. Red and green for up and down. I changed it. So we go over here to the MACD 1 to 5, which is the one that I have up right now, and we go to Edit. So you're going to be changing the colors. It says if the average is greater than the average previous to it, one bar previous to it, then the color is white, which means it's moving up. Then you have to put the white down here again, too, for your uh, uh, if then and else statement so otherwise if it's not moving up or if the bar this bar or this value now is not greater than the value before then the color is magenta it's also saying that if it's the same it's white so Magenta means that it's moving down. That's all you got to do is just like highlight this value, which was probably green before, and just overtype it with white. Overtype this one with white, and overtype this one with white. It's pretty easy. And then you just say OK. So I'm going to say cancel because I already have it. Then you change this from what was previously a line, I believe, to the dots or the circles and you change the width to 3. Next thing uh, you do is for this numerical, this used to be these bars here and we made it 5 wide so they they actually kind of look like this but they at least they had a little space in between them. Change that to a line and change the width to 2. I think it used to be 5 so we'll change it to 2. And then you just say either apply and OK or just say OK and it will automatically apply it. So that's the first change. The other thing that I wanted to talk about was uh, viewing charts as a percent. And I've used this a couple times in the past but when playing around with it just this morning as a matter of fact I found out that you can figure out how much a stock moved percentage wise from a certain period in the past. So a way to do that is to go to style and let's do one month and a day. 
So it would bring up one month and a day here on CF. I'm going to change this to uh, Baidu. All right. So you go over here to this little sine wave here, click on it, left click on it, and say show price as a percentage. And what this is telling you, based on the close of the first day, which is really like 30 days back, it's not a calendar month, it's it's a month, I guess it's 30 days, I, I'm not sure exactly how they calculate a month on this or not, but it's about 30 days. And it's based on the close. So here's the close, if you look over here on the percent, and I'll keep my cursor over here. It closed uh, right here on 12-13. So I guess you might say it's going back to the same date in the previous month. And I can't get I can't get it to land exactly on there to get 0%, but you, you, you get the picture, right? And this is the close from uh, Friday. So it's saying that it's up 18.6% do the same thing with Apple or anybody else if you want to see how it has performed in the last month. I don't know how valuable this is to anybody, but you know, I just thought it was kind of neat. The other thing uh, that I want, let's go back to a regular, kind of a regular chart here. We'll do a daily one year day. The other thing I wanted to show you is um, earnings season is coming up and we want to make sure that if we're doing trades with February expiration, we want to see if the underlying that we're looking at has an expiration between now, or has an earnings announcement between the time that you put the trade in and expiration. And there's a way to do that, which is pretty easy. Let's you click on the wrench up here to do your like universal chart settings. And click on the time axis. These are all left clicks. Click on the time axis. So I have it set right now. My expansion area is five, and five is um, means five bars to be based on whatever time period I'm on. So if I'm on a daily chart here, my five bars is five days, and you can see that over here. It's roughly a week out here. Well, uh, earnings may be coming up. And Apple may have announced when their earnings are going to be. So we click the corporate actions box and we say apply. And you can see that it shifts over and it says, yep, I'm going to show you the next corporate action, which is earnings. So let's say OK. And we can see that Apple is planning on making an earnings announcement on 123 after the market central time which is not very far away. And I have an open trade here. Count on me probably bailing on this thing next week. So if you have an open position, another thing you might want to do is, um, I don't know if you can, I don't know of a way to create an alert based on a date. So if you have like an email program or a calendar program, uh, or an email program that has a calendar in it, or Yahoo Calendar, or something like that, you might want to say, I want to be able to be alerted about this earnings. So it would be a good idea to do that. And that should work for everything else, at least if they have made an announcement on their earnings. Let's go back to Baidu. Yeah, this is the question mark means that we think it's here, but it's not been confirmed. So this is February 14th. Uh, and anybody, anything else that I have, like on my A plus list, Mastercard. Yep, they have like a confirmed earnings. They've actually announced when they're going to make their um, conference call. So they're confirmed too. So tips and tricks or thinkorswim charts. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day, and happy trading.